So today I have a, a friend who's in the rideshare business um, text me, right? Some text me directly or send me emails. And wherever possible, I try to reply. I try to get try to get back to everyone, but you can't please everyone. And sometimes messages uh, slip through or go undetected by the radar or mistakenly get flagged or deleted, as I explained early on. But this, this I found rather alarming and, and, and just a short uh, conversation and, and why am I putting this out there? Basically, showing rideshare drivers and food delivery drivers that A, you have to be aware of your surroundings and know what you are driving into at all times because the safety and security is just not provided by these companies, period, right? In-house 911 button is not going to do the trick. I'm sorry, Daryl Koshishawi. I'm sorry, David Risha. Uh, usually then it's too late. Um, dash cams, which I'm going to make another video on later. I think it's a must. I just found a website where it says the top 10 best uh, dash cams. That one, I'll make a separate video. But back to the conversation. So today I picked up two guys and when I got to their stop, my car was surrounded by police and detectives. My passengers were arrested. So you're driving into something, you've been called by, um, you've been called by the ride share company to pick up these riders. You have no idea what awaits you and you're sort of like taken by surprise. I mean, I would, I'd be rather shocked, right? And uh, probably anyone would have a lot of anxiety. You come in there, maybe the cops got guns drawn, like what's going on? Maybe, you know, things go south, there's a shootout. Maybe you're in the shootout, maybe you die, right? But so Jesus, I hope you are okay. Uh, thank you. I'm just scared. Uh, I'm just scared me to death. It scared me to death. May take the rest of the day off. I would suggest take a week off, right? You've got to sort of like recover from that, right? Because that's, it's reality. It's scary. They're putting you into situations that you should not be in, right? There's no vetting of those riders that um, the police arrested on the scene. Right? They may think that you're complicit, that you're aiding them or doing so, you're helping them. Um, did they give you any additional information? Please take the story to the news. We need to educate the companies on safety for drivers and riders. So I see, obviously, my channel, I see an opportunity. Okay, let's, let's, let's take this story. It's a real story. There's a real police report. The media can go and interview the police. They can get, they can ask questions. They can get behind the story. What's going on here? It's a good story, right? It's a good opportunity to, to highlight those, uh, the defects, the deficiency of safety that these companies provide. Um, I say that is extremely traumatizing. Glad you are okay. I know the guy. The officer just said they have been doing some bad things. Oh, so bad guys, right? They said they were going to the hotel to pick up a piece of mail they left there. Uh, thank you. If you ever want to do interviews on some of my crazy rides, I'd be happy to. I, I would be open to do that with, with, with several uh, drivers because I know that a lot of drivers out there have many, many crazy stories to tell. So maybe we do like a crazy storytelling hour on my channel. Um, I got asked by another a subscriber i think it was today why don't i do interviews where there's like multiple opinions uh, and and the, the the dead honest truth is i don't have the time but i have five teenagers uh 15 to 20 percent of my business is ride share running a fleet of cars uh, engaging on youtube spend about an hour or two a day so i spend about 15 to 20 percent of my time on this business the other 80 to 85 percent i spend with family and running my other businesses and online business. I do a lot of commercial real estate and real estate. So have meetings with builders, construction, roofers, cabinet builders, you name it. So this is a, this is a fun hobby and, and, uh, and an opportunity to um, help, right? And an app opportunity to change things, hopefully for the better, hopefully better safety for all drivers worldwide, 5 million plus people, hopefully 
pushing for better pay, changing legislation state to state, and hopefully getting people more rights, right? So that that's, you know, it, it has a cause, I'm driven by it. Um, so I said, I this was meant to say SHITSA, the shit we have to put up with as drivers, unbelievable, and then the person ends like, right. So um, last screen here, I think that's when the conversation um, I'm going to let Lyft know what happened. I was going to make a TikTok about it. So I said, you need to send it in writing to the legal department. They are endangering your life. Get on social media. Good move. So A, I would bring it to the attention of um, the legal department at Lyft. I would definitely use this opportunity for a TV interview and highlight uh the safety issues and then uh, get the story out on on, on social media and um, this individual is going to use TikTok. two thumbs up at least it's something it's 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 another step it's investing another bit of energy in the right direction and and you know if everyone does this it, no matter what happened to you even i'm sorry to say this but like i've interviewed a couple of ladies about sexual harassment the last week um, helping them get representation with attorneys um, as, as, as traumatic as it is, there's a lot of people that are too afraid to come forward. Sometimes these videos help other people come forward and, and build momentum, right? But the, the bottom line is you need to be heard. You need to be represented. You, the media needs to uh, know the story and we have to push for change. Safety is a big one in this channel. Uh, every single week, there'll be some video that I make on safety and I'm not going to stop. Right, and then I encourage people to share these type of videos, educate the public, educate those executives that are fast asleep, right? You still have not done enough when it comes to driver safety. You've done quite a bit on the rider side, you have failed the drivers, right? So vetting, background checks, maybe make sure that you only get an account or can only drive on a platform if you have a, a dash cam, a van true, or something in your car that provides some form of safety. But this 911 feature alone doesn't do it, doesn't cut it, right? So please, ladies and gentlemen, be alert at all times. You do not know, you absolutely do not know what you are driving into. Uh, it's stressful. Um, I do very, very, very little ride share. Once in a blue moon, I'll do a scheduled trip if it fits into my private clients. Why, I've, why have I chosen the direction of private clients? Why am I trying to introduce as many Uber and Lyft drives to setting up their own LLC and recruiting their own clients? Because you get to know your clients, right? And when clients, good clients make referrals, it's 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a good referral to another family, to another CEO, to another sports star. Right? That's how you start growing it. I explain that in my course below. I feel much, much, much safer, much safer than the days driving around, putting in crazy hours on the Uber Black and SUV platform. I feel much safer than the two months that I spent in UberX. I feel much safer than the six months I spent on the XL Lyft and Uber platform because I wanted to learn everything about it. And this is where the money is. This is where the safety is. This is where you 100% a true independent contractor, right? And I encourage this individual to do the same. But I really would like to push this guy. Hopefully this is a massive wake up call. Could have gone horribly, horribly, horribly south. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be relentless, right? Let's not stop uh, when it comes to safety. We deserve so much better. What they're doing for riders, they can do for drivers. They can spend those additional few dollars keeping us safe. Um, have you ever been in a scenario like this? Do share. Uh, please be careful out there. Be alert. And God bless you all. Thank you.